That same Sunday, two other friends of Jesus left Jerusalem to walk home to Emmaus. As Cleopas and his wife trudged along, they kept going over the sad events of the past few days. They scarcely noticed when a stranger drew level with them. Instead of overtaking them, he matched his pace to theirs and began to talk. You're looking miserable, he remarked. What's the matter? Haven't you heard that Jesus is dead? The stranger laughed gently. You've made a big mistake, he said. Think what the prophets had to say about the Messiah. Isaiah compared him to an innocent lamb being led to the slaughter. The Messiah had to die, not for the crime he had committed, but for the sins of other people, in order to bring them peace and forgiveness from God. The journey flew by as the stranger went from one Old Testament writing to another, explaining that it was God's plan that the Messiah should first die and then rise from death because he had conquered evil. It seemed no time before they were at their own door. The stranger looked as if he was going on up the street. Um, it's very late. Would you like to come for tea? Yes, please. Come in. The stranger accepted, and when supper was ready, he took the bread, thanked God for it, and shared it between them. They recognised the familiar way he did it. The stranger was Jesus, alive. They turned to him, but he had gone. Jesus has risen. Let's tell our friends.